I'm Darren Kitchen, this is Land Turtle Basics, and in today's lesson, we're gonna start expanding on the land turtle storage using a little thing called SSHFS. And as you might imagine, what that means is we're gonna mount a remote file system over SSH. This, of course, building on the previous session where we set up auto SSH, and we're gonna go ahead and dive right in. So, on my left, I have a little Windows machine that's directly connected to the land turtle over USB. I'm uh, connected to the turtle shell through putty, and on the right, I'm connected to a virtual private server that I have up in the cloud. And I can see that I actually have a session with it. If I go ahead and do, well, I could do it either way. I can go to, over to modules over here, and you'll notice that I should have a check mark. I have a check mark right next to auto SSH, letting me know that that connection has been established. And likewise, over here, I can do SSH to root at uh, localhost, on port 2222 and now I'm on my land turtle. Fantastic. So let's go ahead and exit out of this SSH session here and set up SSHFS. So down here we'll find SSHFS and we'll want to configure this and we'll need to provide it with a host, a user, a port, and a path. So in this case the host is in fact our server up here up in the cloud which if I recall is this IP address, I'll just paste this here for reference, and that is 104, the port is 22, the user is turtle, and in this case the path is slash home slash turtle. I'm going to go ahead and submit, and I want to start that. So SSHFS has started, so what does that actually mean? Well, if I ls this as I did before slash home slash turtle you'll see there aren't any files there right now let's go ahead and exit the turtle shell if I go over to slash sshfs and ls I'll notice that there's nothing there as well but if I create a new file by say using echo hello world and I pipe that into hello.txt and now over here, I do the same thing. I ls again, I'll notice that that hello.txt is there. And I can likewise view that file. So what's actually happened here is we've mounted remotely the file system over on, in this case, our virtual private server in the cloud. That the home directory for the turtle is now local to the turtle as slash sshfs, which means that any program running on the land turtle can treat that directory slash sshfs as it would any other directory. And instead of storing it locally on the land turtle, it's actually being stored through that tunnel, securely through that tunnel, on our virtual private server. And this is going to come in handy in just a bit as we build on this in the next session, which you can find, as well as me, over at landturtle.com.